Hello everybody, my name is Arjun Vadhavan. I'm 29 years old and I recently graduated with a PhD from University of Amsterdam. I'm right now traveling in south of Sicily and I just visited a very nice old Greek temple where it was told that this was also a place where scholars would uh, gather and learn from each other. And then it just uh, ignited some ideas in my mind. I wanted to share them through this video. I wanna tell five key things that will help you in making a successful PhD application. Now, these are five unique things that I thought that I wanna give out and that could help eventually help you. Number one, always have a very strict and sharp and size story about why you wanna apply for your PhD and what motivated you. Now, it can be like a project that you did in your bachelor's or master's, maybe a research paper that you read or maybe a Maybe something that ignited ideas while talking to a professor or some something that you read about. But having a storyline about how and why you are applying for a PhD always helps because that will help you in eventually making a good motivation letter and also getting you through the interview process. Number two, find the university or universities that you want to apply to and research about the groups that are there. Just look at what professors are there and also what kind of students are there through their websites and then eventually try to follow them on LinkedIn or Twitter or other social media platforms. This will help you, uh, you know, get a bit more visibility about your profile to the members in that group and also try to research about what kind of uh, you know, avenues these groups use uh, for research like maybe ResearchGate is one of them or maybe other kind of platforms. Yeah. Number three is about funding uh, there are many organizations in the world that actually sponsor funding for phd like in uh, europe there is of course erc grant which professors get try to find these uh, funding bodies in different countries like in netherlands there is uh, nwo that funds uh, uh, the grants for the phd if you know these funding bodies then try to go through their websites or their twitter page and try to see what kind of projects get funded and try to see which professors get get these fundings because if you if they have funding then eventually they will also want to hire you with that funding money so having a good knowledge of about the funding bodies sometimes help to align your phd perspective and also think about what kind of projects you want to apply for number four when you have decided to apply to a phd professor of a university or to a professor try to read at least one research paper not thoroughly but just in a brief understanding because then you can do a discussion with that professor through an email or maybe in an interview where you can precisely tell that hey i read this nice research article and i really liked it and maybe this part of the work made me very enthusiastic about it and then you can link the story very well so the easiest way to do this is yeah, reading a research paper instead of just, you know, going through the websites or things like that. Just pick one of the recent research paper of that professor or that group and then try to formulate it in a simple sense what you understood, how it relates to your story. And then in the end, maybe formulate a small informal email and send it to the professor even before you apply saying, hey, this is my name. I read your research article. I found it pretty interesting and I found this whole way of thinking very cool and I would want to, you know, maybe join this and that will give you a little bit more visibility. Number five, write a very crisp and sharp motivation letter. Professors often want to know the story of why you're applying for it and how this will, uh, how a PhD project will add value to your life or maybe to do the things that you want to do. And that is conveyed through a very crisp and sharp motivation letter. Now, I like to tell others that it should always be one page with four paragraphs, giving your introduction, your current work, your background and how it fits with the project. And then in the end, how and what you want to do in future and of course a bit more information about the professor and university in it but never make it more than one page and clearly state with crisp words how this whole thing will help you in the next four to five years with these tips i think that i have conveyed some useful information if you want to apply for a phd in future uh, I personally think that these will uh, help you stand out among other candidates and hopefully lead you to, lead you to a successful uh, position. Thank you very much for watching this video and see you in the next one.